Is it time to buy or sell GameStop stock? In this video, we're diving deep into GameStop. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, 26th June, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 21, 2024, our system has ranked GameStop as a sell candidate, giving it a score of negative 3.6. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 1.13%. This translates to an average return of 0.28% per day since it was listed as a sell candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 59.46% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 59.46% and 289.10%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a negative 0.41% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between negative 58.95% and 100.53%. This translates to a price range of $9.93 to $48.53 after a year. Our latest daily update for GameStop includes the headline, Red Day on Wednesday for GameStop stock after losing 2.93%. The GameStop stock price fell by negative 2.93% on the last day, Wednesday, 26 June, 2024, from $24.93 to $24.20. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 5.57% from a day low at $24.04 to a day high of $25.38. The price has fallen in seven of the last 10 days and is down by negative 20.63% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign, as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by negative 8 million shares, and in total, 17 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $410,580,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $64.83, and the lowest price was $9.95. Currently, the price is 62.67%, or $40.63, below the 52-week high, and 94.99%, or $458.80, below the all-time high on January 28, 2021, when the price reached $483. Analyst Ratings On Friday, May 17, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave GME a underperform grade with a hold action. On Monday, March 25, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave GME a underperform grade with a hold action. On Friday, September 2, 2022, it was reported that Raymond James gave GME a neutral grade with a hold action. On Thursday, August 18, 2022, it was reported that Wedbush gave GME a underperform grade with a downgrade action. On Friday, July 22, 2022, it was reported that Wedbush gave GME an underperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given GameStop stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong sell rating. The following signals have been identified for GameStop. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. 
The GameStop stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $24.60 and $25.78. A breakup above any of these levels will issue buy signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, May 14, 2024, and so far it has fallen 50.36%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal pivots, sell signal 30 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 38 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 3 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 38 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 31 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for GameStop. GameStop finds support from accumulated volume at $23.78, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $1.34 between high and low, or 5.57%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 8.51%. Before we delve into the potential good trading levels for GameStop, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This critical ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This very high PE ratio indicates that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not unusual for technology companies or those with significant market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2024 is expected on September 4, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at negative $0.0100. Keep a close watch on these figures, as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for GameStop. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for GameStop is at $25.46. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, GameStop encounters its first support level at $23.78. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for GameStop from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On June 13, 2024, Robinson Mark Heyman conducted an insider sell of 2,215 shares of Class A common stock. On May 6, 2024, Robinson Mark Heyman conducted an insider sell of 214 shares of Class A common stock. On April 24, 2024, Moore Daniel William conducted an insider sell of 7,779 shares of Class A common stock. On April 23, 2024, Robinson Mark Heyman conducted an insider sell of 13,471 shares of Class A common stock. On April 8, 2024, Moore Daniel William conducted an insider sell of 526 shares of Class A common stock.
Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 42.687. Overall, insiders purchased 2,205,138 shares and sold 2,549,143 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a minus evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is GameStop stock a good buy? The GameStop stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe GameStop will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, June 27, we expect GameStop to open up $0.34 cents and start trading at $24.54. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.